Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, yes, teacher. Well, it's good to see you. One more class. Today is our class number nine. Can you imagine? Class number nine. We almost finished. And well, today is Tuesday, June 6, 2023. We are going to continue working on the section four. Uh, the lesson objective. Let's see, Mayra Patricia, would you like to read for the class the lesson objective? Yes. Uh, lesson nine, objective. Sequence arbors are used to help describe a progression of events, often used in receipts or instructions. Sequence Arbor Sus as first, then net after that, and finally contain information about the order of action and create natural transitions in writing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayra. Very nice. So You're today welcome. we're going to learn about sequences adverse those words that help us understand the process of something in order. Great, so we're going to start with recalling previous knowledge. Then we have sequence adverbs, activity three, writing your favorite recipe, and activity four, wrap up. So I have a couple of questions here. Let's see, who can read the question? Somebody who wants to read the questions? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Exactly. Have you ever cooked cook something from YouTube? Do you love cooking? What's your specialty? What ingredients do you need to make it? Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we have these questions and I need your opinions. I need your participation. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Someone? Uh, and exotic food uh, is como... Um, yeah. For example... Uh, example armadillo. Armadillo, Garrobo, Culebra, Iguana, Snake, yes, eh, Raccoon, Rabbit, um, Squirrel, Crocodile. Crocodile, yes. Mm. And there is another animal that I just forgot in this moment. Murciélago. <laughs> oh, no, no bad. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, frog leg. Frog leg. Frog leg. Frog leg. Mm -hmm. Anca serrana. Frog leg. Oh. Okay, so tell me, have you ever eaten exotic food? You can say, yes, I have, teacher. I have eaten. No, I've, Armadillo. no, I've ever, uh, oh, never. No, I haven't. Don't read it. No, I haven't, yes. Sorry. Don't worry me. Very nice. Somebody? I have eaten rabbits. You have eaten rabbits. I have, I have eaten uh, a, a salty food, very way. Belly way. Belly way. I have, I have eaten a uh, cotusa. <laughs> and, and what is it? What what does it taste like? It's a uh, same uh chicken. Is a uh, flavor is a uh, chicken. It, it's very it. delicious. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you for sharing, Evelyn. Okay, I have another question. Have you ever cooked something from YouTube? Like you watched the recipe, the procedure in YouTube, and then you try to copy? 
Yes, I have tissue. Really? What did you cook, Francisco? Um, uh, pizza, pizza, um, vegetal. Oh, a vegetarian pizza. Yes. Nice, nice, and, and only by by watching a video on YouTube. <laughs> okay, now I have another question. Do you like cooking? Yes, I like cooking. Yes, I like. I like. Nice. Okay. Do you like cooking? You say yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. People who say yes, what's your specialty? What is your specialty? Huh? Mm. Lasagna. Right, chicken. <laughs> no, you're kidding. That's not. Rice and eggs. <laughs> Maruchan soup. No, I see. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> That's your specialty. Now, yes. what? Latanya, okay. Karen, what is your, uh, what ingredients do you need to make lasagna? Um, the pasta, uh, some tomato, onion, uh, chicken or bread. Um, oh. um, paper. Salt, um, cheese, um, mm -hmm. only that. Okay, Here, garlic, onion, onions, yeah, and salt, garlic, very, mm. <laughs> that's all. That's all. <laughs> Okay, thank you for sharing. Somebody else, what's your specialty? Mm -hmm. Can you make pupusa? Yes, I yes, do. Yes, I like. Yes, I did. Nice. I have prepared in pandemia donuts. <gasps> I wash uh, you too. <laughs> I I I prepare donuts. <laughs> you prepare all. Okay. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. Now mm. guys, here you can see cooking verbs list in English. You can take notes about the different uh, verbs, action verbs, and vocabulary. For example, we have mix, roast, pour, cut, break, weigh, steam, barbecue, chop, chaz, layer, roll out, Saute, right? Saltar. <laughs> peel. Okay. You peel a banana. You peel a mango and then you eat it. Melt. The cheese melts. The, the ice cream melts. Right? Under some temperatures. Boil, right? A spread. A spread. And that spread. It's nice. 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 Okay, so these are the different cookies. How do you say Rodajea? Excuse How me? do you pronounce? How do you pronounce Rodajea? Oh, slice. Slice. Uh, slice. You. You're welcome. Those are the cooking verbs in English. There are more in the next slide. Yeah, we have add, bake in an okay. oven, blend, we need the, the blender machine, boil, 
For example, we boil the soup, we boil the, the bean soup. Bread. Bread, in this case, is not, not pan, it's empanizar. Okay, you bread the chicken, you bread the fish, fillet, right? Broil, Broil. it's like a slow cooking. Broil. Also, we had chop, chop, chop cut, beef, and fry. Fry. Yes, so those are the cooking verbs vocabulary. Very good. So, why is this important? Because we need the cooking verbs, we need this vocabulary for the next activity. And the next activity is about a sequence adverbs. We are going to focus today in uh, the process of cooking because cooking is a process. You have some steps to follow and that's why. But we are going to learn about sequence adverbs. The sequence adverbs are first, next, then, after, and finally. I don't remember this. You remember? Yeah, it's this list of the platform. Oh, yes, it's in the platform. And we have this example, how to make a cup of tea. I need a volunteer to read this, the steps to make a cup of tea. One person. Okay, Jenny. Okay. Uh, how to make a cup of tea? First, we boil some boil. As yes, teacher, boil. Yes, we boil some water. Some water. Next, serve the water in a cup. Then put the tea bag in the water. After, add some sugar and milk. Finally, add a biscuit and enjoy it. That is the best part. <laughs> okay, so look at the process. First, we need to boil the water, serve the water in a cup, cook the tea bag, add some sugar, and add a biscuit. But if you notice, when we make, when we say the steps, it's better. Yes, Karen? Teacher, what is the pronunciation in <laughs> biscuit? Biscuit. 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 Tea bag. Tea bag. Yes, that's correct. Okay, gracias. Tea bag. Yes. <laughs> what is the meaning tea bag? The tea bag. You, you can see it here in the. The tea is inside a little bag. The bag. Ah, uh, the bag. La bolsita ah. de tea. Tea bag. La bolsita and the bag. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look, the English tea adds some milk. The English people add milk to the tea. Have you ever, have you ever tried a tea with milk? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I did. No, yes, never tasted this. Well, I have tried it and it's good. It's good. It has a good. Yes, teacher. In my case, I don't drink tea, but I really like it with a little bit of milk. But you like? Yes, I really like. <laughs> but I like only the tea. And, and another only to milk and coffee, but both of them, no. <laughs> oh, okay, milk and tea, no. Exactly. No, but say, but you say it's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's rich, I don't know. Sure. I do <laughs> Yeah, My coffee I... is good uh, with tea, I don't like the milk. You don't like the milk? <laughs> I don't like milk so much, but. Yeah, I have tried milk and tea, 
combined. Okay? Well, that's good. But I don't make it like that. I just water in the tea and maybe honey. Honey or sugar. Right? Honey. Okay. Honey. Right. Only, only the, the tea with use the the I, honey, honey and sugar. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you understand, right? The 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 steps. First, next, then after and final. Well, we have here an explanation, sequence afters. We use the adverbs of sequence, first, next, then, after, or after that. And finally, to show the order in which two or more actions happen. So here we have the process of cooking a nomele. First, break the egg. <laughs> then um okay break the egg then heat the butter in the pan okay yes heat the butter in a pan next add the eggs uh-huh after that fill the omelette with the ingredients and finally, finally fold it in half and enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> in tea. In tea. <laughs> enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> you can enjoy it with coffee or tea or beans, right? So very easy, right? First, then, next, after that, and finally. So those are the sequence adverbs. But we can have more, more words. Okay. More words in the um, more adverbs of sequence. Let me show you in a moment, you will see here the exercise. We'll see what other words can we use. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, let me share the screen. Good. So in the beginning, middle and end, what words can we use in the beginning of a process? Sure. To start. Okay, to start. we can use to start. To beginning. To, to begin. begin. To begin. First. In the beginning. The beginning. beginning. Now, in the middle? Next, next, middle, next. next. After, 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 also, after, also, then, also, and, 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 Okay. <laughs> we are going to check. Good job, good job. Now guys, I have a question. What is the difference between after and after that? What is the difference? What is the difference? Because- uh, Can you repeat this? Okay, in the middle, we can use the words after and after that. What is the difference between after and after that? What is the difference? Antes que... Okay, for example, in the previous slide, we say first break the eggs, then heat the butter in a pan, next add the eggs, after that, Fill the omelette with ingredients. Okay? 
But we can only we can also use instead of after that, we can use after. Next, a after fill the omelet with ingredients. Well, okay. more, more specific. Yeah, after that. There are four ingredients. Okay. Yeah, it's it's fun. To say, it is safe to say to continue and that. I don't know. Yes. Okay. After that, después de eso. After is just después. That is the difference. That is the only difference. Okay. So you can use after. It's a continue the. Is a continue the, the process? process? Yeah, we use it in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Sorry, in the middle, in the middle of the process. In the middle of the process, uh, we can use after that or we can use after. Okay, but uh, only after is exactly like then, the same meaning of then, and as Francisco said, after that is like more specific. Okay, después de eso, after that. Good. So now it's time for writing your favorite recipe. You are going to write the ingredients. You will use sequence adverbs to describe the process. And you have to use the cooking verbs vocabulary. Then we are going to share the recipe. Okay. What's your favorite recipe? Pupusa, tacos. My favorite recipe is chicken Sopa, sauce. <laughs> Can you repeat that? Maggie yes. soup. <laughs> okay, Maruchan soup, lucky soup. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> okay, so here is an there is an exercise before we do it. How to make a salad. We have mm -hmm. to put the sentences in the correct order of sequence. First, then, next, after that, and finally. So you're going to help me. And tell me what is the number one? Chevrolet, yeah, yeah, yeah. tomatoes, onion, See, and cucumber. But buy all the ingredients for the supermarket. For the supermarket, oh. <laughs> yes. Sorry, it's First, you need, yeah, you need the ingredients. <laughs> you make the salad if you don't buy the ingredients. <laughs> okay, what is the second? E. Very good. Number three. The some tuna and mix well. Okay, add some tuna and mix well. Uh -huh. okay. Number four, the the small song of some cheese and other big of salt and pepper. Yes, great, right, great. Great some cheese and add a pinch of salt and pepper. Uh -huh. And finally, B. Bring of some oil, olive. Oh, and, enjoy. and enjoy. So now we are going to make it, but using the, the sequence words. So number one would be? First. 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 Where does me a sprinkle? A sprinkle. Okay, it's this action, a sprinkle. Morosia. Exactly. Thank you, teacher. 
Oh, okay. No. So first is number one. Number two. Next. Ah. Huh. I seen them. Or then. Okay. Three. After, after that. But you can use next or you after. can use them or after. Number four, after that. After that. Okay, number five. Finally. Finally. Okay, who would like to read the whole process? <laughs> who can read using the sequence words? Uh, first, boy, all the ingredients from the supermarket. Uh, then, chop the lettuce, tomatoes, onion, and cucumber. Next, add some tuna and mix well. After that, grate some cheese and add a dish of salt and pepper. Uh, finally, sprinkle some oil, oil into your salad and enjoy. Excellent. Thank you. And we make a salad. <laughs> Good. So you are going to do something similar, but about your favorite recipe. Okay. I have a question, guys. Would you like to work individually or would you like to work in pairs? In pairs. Individually. In pairs. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, if you want to work individually, you can tell me in a chat. You can tell me in a message. You can type it in the chat. You say, teacher, I want to work alone. Okay, forever alone. No, just kidding. <laughs> and if you want to work with others, I'm going to uh, send you to a group. Okay. Okay. So let me see. I think David wants to work alone. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, Karen, because she's working. Good. Karen Elizabeth, right? Or Karen Yvette? Yvette, teacher. Yvette, okay. Karen and Lisa. Eh, 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 eh. Let's see. Uh -huh. Give me a moment. But me meanwhile, you can start thinking about your favorite recipe. Good, so you're going to receive an invitation to join the break room. Remember, uh, don't forget to write ingredients and the procedure or the process. Hello, Miguel and Merlin Jaciel. Hello, oh, teacher. Hi, Miguel. Jaciel, are you there? 
Well, Miguel, if if he's not yeah. right. Oh, yes, he's here. <laughs> okay, guys, work on the recipe together, okay? Okay, whatever, right? Yes, you choose. You choose what the food you want to make. Okay. Sorry, mm -hmm. teacher. Um, uh, we can do how to, to prepare uh, a Latina. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How to make them. Hello, Nubia and Giselle Marie. Hi, teacher. How are you? Okay, you're going to work together, right? To make a recipe of the food you want. Any food you want to make. Okay. Hi, girls. Okay. From from Wendy's. Ah, from Wendy's. Okay. I don't like the for Wendy's, but I like I prefer to prepare it, my sandwich because I prepare it in ingredients. And I like it, and the Wendy don't. I say it. This like I this is don't like this is don't like and the people poor me. It's more and, uh -huh. more cheap and yeah. more healthy. Yes, when you prepare it more cheap. It's cheaper. Cheaper. More cheaper to to, cheaper. to prepare it too. Cheaper, okay. Thank you. Cheaper to prepare your own burgers or sandwiches. <laughs> like the okay. Wendy's hamburger. Uh, but I like Wendy's burgers. And the and the potato. Yeah, you and, buy me and the French. <laughs> of course. When can we go? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. So you are are you going to read uh, the noise because uh, I'm in my work it's on like like that. Excuse me, you are working right now? Yes, yes, right now. Oh okay, but can you work with with Ruth or are you going to work alone? Uh, with thank you. With Ruth. Okay. But sometimes uh, uh, the noise here is so so high. Well, you can use the chat also. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh mm huh. -hmm. A in other in other eh, como ¿cómo se dice olla? Olla. En olla. En en other. Aquí poner sí. poner. Oh. Oh. Spread spread the water no. Un sartén sería una, mejor, un, ¿verdad? Un boil, ajá. Boil sí. es 
olla, no, bollo. No, ese es. No, hervir, es hervir. hervir, hervir. Ah, ok. Ay, ¿cómo se dice eso? En powder. Sartén. Sartén y pan. ¿Cómo? ¿Qué? Pan. 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 Fry, fry, fry. Fry the onion. Fry onion. Fry onion, onion. And, and garlic. Um, um -huh. What other ingredients? Como uh, fry uh, another pan. Fryer, fry uh -huh. onion and garlic. Mm -hmm. What are you making? Garlic. Spaghetti. Oh, delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love pasta. You love pasta, yeah. There are different ways you can make it. Mm -hmm. you can make pasta. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very uh, good. Onion and I'm getting hungry. Finally, <laughs> and finally, finally, the, the, sour, the salsa. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Finish the <laughs> show. Hi. Yes. How, How is chicken? You are making chicken. Yes. Yes. Soup. Soup chicken. We yes. we cook chicken soup. <laughs> yes. Soup. Sí, you soup. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. Yes. No chicken soup. No. no <laughs> soup. <laughs> Chicken soup. Okay. Chicken soup. Okay. I want to try that recipe. Okay. First, I boil some water. Then I wash a vegetable and chicken. Next, I chop the vegetable and chicken. After that, put the chicken and vegetable in the water. Also, add some salt and consume uh, in the ingredients at the end taste the flavor and ready to eat <laughs> easy very easy and what yeah. are the ingredients you need to write the ingredients too potatoes carrots Car rocks, tomato onions garlic cin eh, cinnamon <laughs> 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 Cilantro. Cilantro. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice apio? Celery. Parsley. Ah, no, y el parsley. Parsley ah, is perejil. El perejil. Ah, no me acuerdo. Apio. Ah, celery, apio. Parsley, perejil. El, el cilantro, ¿cómo se dice? Cilantro. Cilantro. Also coriander. 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 Oh, or cilantro. Okay. <laughs> consomme. No sé, en inglés, consomme. In English, it's like, it's like a soup. But you, you want, you mean uh, it's, it's spices, right? It's spices. Consomme, ¿cómo se dice? Spices. It's spices. <laughs> spices. Ah, okay. It's spices. <laughs> Okay, va. Spices con Y, ¿verdad? Spices. 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 Es picante. Spicy. Spices, se escribe. No, yeah. 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 That's correct. What do you drink? Oh. <laughs> I am drinking coffee because I was, I, I am very sleepy. So <laughs> <Why> am I. <laughs> I, I had milk in the dinner and the milk makes me so sleepy. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, so that's why I need, uh, my husband made me a cup of coffee. <laughs> I know. 
Now I will tell Very you. Sad. <laughs> yes. But time runs fast. Right? Okay. Almost time to finish. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check another group, but it was good to hear you there. Okay. <laughs> Um, teacher, no, yes, mm. teacher, I finished the practice, I cooking lasagna and Evelyn cooking chicken. <laughs> okay, lasagna and chicken, wow. And chicken fry. Yes, I fried. love lasagna. Fried chicken. Yes, chicken, chicken or, or seria fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Pollo frito. Sí? Yes. yes. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Teacher, how do you say uh, sartén? Excuse me? Sartén is, ah. is a, a... Pen. Pen. Or <laughs> frying pan. Fry pan. Fry pan. Pero pen, ¿verdad? P-A-N, pen. P-A-N, P-A-N, yes. P-A-N. Fry. No estaba tan perdido. Okay, so you are finished. Yes, teacher. Yes, I finished. Yes, I finished. Good, thank you. You are welcome. Teacher, le podría pedir un favor si puede poner la imagen donde estaba como el procedimiento, porque la que estábamos viendo anteriormente la quiero capturar. ¿Y ¿De sala? ¿This one? Eh, sí. Yeah. Ok. But tell me in English. <laughs> um, teacher, please. And do you show me or show or do you show show me the how the to slide. make sala? A slide. Eso se llama a slide. A slide. Ah, slide. La. Uh, teacher, please. I need the slide. Uh huh. The slide. How to make sala, please. Very good, Karen. Very okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can nervous. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, while you get ready, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, so please say present or here when I mention your name. Just let me look for the list. Let me get the link. And in a moment, okay, we are going to start with Adriana Gonzalez. Adriana Gonzalez. No. Okay, Ana Silvia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Present teacher. Blanca Margarita. She's absent today. Brian Hyberson Escobar. David Alonso Mejia. Present. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Present. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Present teacher. Hey, Francisco Villafuerte. Glenn, okay, good, Francisco. Glendy Elisette Flores. It is, no, sorry. Giselle Marie Hernandez. Present. Thank you. 
Marie. Iris Janet Martínez. Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jairo Naman Moss. Josué Miguel Portillo. Present. Jairo is not present, right? No, not today. Okay. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Karen Ibet Villanueva. I'm here, teacher. Good. Kenya Vanessa, por Vera Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Leslie Victoria Moran. Luisa Ariana Guerra. Present. Mayra Patricia Pérez. Present, teacher. Nerlin Jaciel Flores. Present, teacher. Ninrob Saúl. Present. Guzmán. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present. Okay, Nubia. Oscar Alexander Santana. Present. Chair. Present. Okay, Oscar. Renato Salvador Ramírez. And... The next person is Ruth Noemi Beltrán. Present teacher. And Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. Present teacher. Very good. Thank you for connecting to the class. Okay. So, yes. Now I need you to tell me the recipes to share your, your work. Share your work. This is the best part. When you speak English in front of your classmates. Who wants to be the first chef? <laughs> With Oscar and Kenya Corvera. Okay. I talk about sandwich. I talk I talk about the sandwich and prepare the sandwich. How I say sandwich. By first time, you first you take a two slice of bread. Next, put the tomato, lettuce, cucumber, and then mayonnaise. And sometimes another people to put the mustard, but uh, I don't like <laughs> in, yeah. my, in my case. After, put it in the oven um, for one minute, and finally test it or enjoy it. Excellent. Thank you so much. Good job, Ruth, Oscar, and Kenya. Right? Yes, okay. that's what... Good. Okay. Just be careful when you mention the plural form. For example, two slices of bread. Two slices of bread. That was good. Okay. Okay. And the other one? Volunteers or victims? A victim teacher. <laughs> so you choose Ruth. Choose the victim. <laughs> Ruth, choose the next person. But we don't hear you. Karen Villanueva. Okay, Karen. Okay, teacher. Uh, I thought about the, I could, I prefer cooked seafood. For example, I cook lasagna with a squid. A squid? A squid. A squid, a squid teacher, okay. First, I prepare the squid and cleaning very well. Uh -huh. Then put in the pan the water after cook the pasta the water. Uh -huh. After cook the pasta and remove it when it is ready. Mm, 
next I cook the squid in another pan with the ingredients, um, sauce, tomato, onions, spicy, I don't know, etc. And finally, I mix the pass with the squid and cheese in the bowl and bake for 30 minutes. Mm, only. Interesting. Good. Okay. Thank you, Karen. That's a new okay. recipe for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Good. Any other person? Oh, Karen, choose the next victim. Okay. Let me see. The next participant. Okay. Is Aura, it's ready? It's Aura and Jenny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. My recipe is soup of chicken. Chicken soup. Ah, uh, chicken soup. <laughs> okay. Chicken soup. First, I boil some water. Then I wash a vegetable and chicken. Next, I chop the vegetable and chicken. After that, put uh, put the chicken and vegetable in the water. Also, add some salt and spice and mix the ingredients. At the end, taste the flavor and ready to eat. And it's ready to eat. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jenny and Isaura. <laughs> Okay, choose the next, please. Francisco Villafuerte. Okay, Paco. Oh, uh, in my case, I don't understand the activity. Uh, we make a, a, a exercise you chair in, in the shop. But I can say I, I like the cooking. Um, my favorite recipe is uh, this broccoli soup broccoli soup i'm interested broccoli in that Bro Tell broccoli me. soup with chicken how can i make it okay the first is the boil and put them on boil water uh, and, and add the onions garlic and um, chili pepper i prefer in the jalapeno i don't know how to say in english jalapeno 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 okay um when this uh, is boiled um uh, add uh, the broccoli and next uh, put the all ingredients in the uh blender in the blender, machine. Ah, okay. blender. Yeah. So, okay put the all ingredients in the blender um and next or that next, uh, put the other uh, blend in the bowl and add the chicken. That's uh, next. That's uh, uh, after that. After, after lapse, that. After that, add the add the cream. Cream. Uh, crema. Uh, yes, cream. Cream and a. Uh, uh, mixes and um, only that. <laughs> ah, I can use okay. Uh, I use the chicken bro chicken boil. Okay, so previously you need to broil the chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. I will try. I will try to make it with jalapeno. Okay? okay, because I have made broccoli soup, but without the jalapeno. Okay, so I will try uh -huh. to make it with this new ingredient. Okay, <laughs> okay, guys. Um, let me share with you here something. Okay. Um, when you want to make a soup, guys. You use something like this, right? When you want to make the soup, you use this. What do you call this? Boil. The action, the action is boil, but the the recipient, the recipient. 
It's called mm. pot. Okay. For example, I cook the beans in a big pot. Okay. You can make the soup in a pot. But if you want to make French fries, you can fry the potatoes in a pan. Okay, I'm not good at writing. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing my best. Okay. I don't know if you can understand. I will try to make another one here. Maybe this is better. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but this is a pot and this is a frying or pan. Okay, you see the difference? Pot yes, and pan. Pot mm -hmm. and pan. Yes. I got it. I, you got it. Okay, good, good. And well, another thing is the pronunciation of peace. And difference with this. Okay, spices, spices, it's a noun. Spices, and it refers to the different um, things that you can put to a soup, for example. Uh, we buy some spices like in cubitos, right, like cubes, or in little bags, right? Those are the spices. A spicy, on the other way, is an adjective. Mm -hmm. For example, with spices, you can say, I add uh, some spices to the soup. Paper. Paper. A spicy is the adjective. You can say, the soup was very spicy or the food was very spicy with a lot of uh, pepper, okay? But spicy is the adjective and spices is a noun. Do you see the difference? Yes, one is spicy and the other is uh, picante. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It is the second one. You say excuse me? The second the second one is what is what is the meaning? I don't know, I, know, I don't understand this. Okay, the meaning is when I'm gonna make a drawing here. When you add when you make this, uh, you put a lot of this jalapeno and other type of chili pepper. Okay. Spicy burger. So, <laughs> okay, so you, it's a spicy. I'm going to share with you an image in, in the group, in the WhatsApp group. Okay, a spicy food. Okay, I would try to share it in the group, WhatsApp group. Ah, right, but I cannot. Oh. Mm -hmm. But spices, eh, for example, here we use continental, we use season, we use uh, Maggi, Maggi cubes. Those are the spices. spices. But a spicy, it's like I put it there in the group when you put a lot of chili pepper. To the food, okay? Okay. So that is okay. the difference. 
Yes. <laughs> well, guys, it's ten o two. It's time to finish the class, but I would like you to tell me what did you learn in this class. I can. I learned for the order for the one recipe. The order of a recipe or a process, not only for making food, but also we can use it for other processes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I learned to cook a verbs and listen in English. Cooking verbs. Can you give me examples of cooking verbs? Boil, chop, cut, fry, cut, dip, fry, boil, bake. Okay, how do you say rayar queso? Mm. I don't know. Well, it was it was in this slide. Grated cheese. Great, exactly. Grated cheese. Okay, how do you say menear? Menear la sopa. Mix. 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 Mix es mezclar. Es revolver. Uh -huh. Mezclar es mix. En menear la sopa o revolver la sopa? Shaking. It's a steer. Which. I was saying with fear. With with ah, batir. Yes. Ah, okay. Pero ese batir sería manualmente y mix con la batidora. Exactly. Yeah, or whisk also. Because batidora is whisk whisker. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's very interesting to learn all these verbs because they could have a different meaning. So it's important to study, okay? And I sent the, the link of the exercise so with that uh, objective that you can learn more cooking verbs, okay? For example, with the lemon. Squeeze. Squeeze, exactly, squeeze. squeeze. Very nice. And how do you say pelar? Peel. 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 Yes, peel the vegetables. Very good. <laughs> okay, we can continue learning about cooking, but this is not a cooking class and it's time to finish. <laughs> so I hope to see you on Thursday. Okay, see you on Thursday. Please work in the platform, section four and part of section five. Good. Have good dreams, guys. See you. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye.